this is Denise Matthew and today I'm just going to do a quick pair of earrings and what I'm going to do is just make um, what's called knotted um, head pins and then I'm going to just make that into an earring. So <clears throat> the first thing you do, I have about three inches of wire, two, two pieces of three inches of wire. Now I'm making two earrings so what I like to do is I like to bend probably about an inch down alright and I'm just going to measure it against my other ear wire that way I'm going to have exactly the same amount. Now I'm using a 20 gauge wire but I've already checked it against my bead so that I know that that fits. Okay, so you're just going to do that so that they're both exactly the same. And now that that's done, you're just going to take one and just pull it like this. Just I'll just show you. You're going to just pull the wire over a little bit. And just grab hold of that little loop. And then you're just going to wrap around and try and keep it sort of in that same area. And if you can over wrap, that's good too. So just keep sort of wrapping it, and you're wrapping down instead of up. You're trying to cover up that little thing that you're holding. Now if it gets too hard to uh, hold it on the end, just turn it around, and then just kind of continue to wrap it with your fingers. Okay, so make sure there's no, uh, no sharp bits, and you're going to have, it looks like a, a perfect knot. why it's called knotted. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is just put your bead on, right, like that. All right, and these are little um, turquoise nugget beads. Okay, and then the next thing after that, you're just going to put it over a Sharpie or a marker, and you're just going to start to make your ear wire, and I'm just kind of bending it like that. All right, so then you would have something that looks like this, and then you're just going to do the end, and then that would be your, your finished earring. When you have a smaller bead and the wire is, uh, it, a 20 gauge wire is too big to get through a bead, the other way you can do it is to use a lighter wire and make these knotted head pins. Put it through your bead like that and dry it, pull it right down. This is like a straight drilled fat briolet. And then once I'm there, I'm just going to take my round nose pliers. I'm just going to do a 90 degree angle and just do a closed loop. All right. And if you need more help with closed loops, I'll have a link for you in the, in the description. Then just wrap that wire around. Just wrap it until it's done. All right. And push everything in so that there's no stray wires. And then all you do is attach it to an ear wire, and you're still going to have that same sort of knotted head pin look. And the only thing that you want to do when you're uh, finishing off your earrings is you want to make sure you file the ends so that you don't cut your ears. So this concludes the tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.